All right, hey, what's up, everybody? Today is Saturday, and we're down here at CrossFit Western Front in Ipswich. Um, unfortunately, we were meant to be down at CrossFit Border in Tweed Heads this, uh, this weekend, but we had a bit of a family emergency with one of our loved dogs. Um, won't go into too, too much detail there, but we've had to change our plans for the weekend and stay a little bit closer to home. So I've hit up Kate and Alex at CrossFit Western Front. We're down here to check out check out the gym for a Saturday sesh. I've driven past a million times. Uh, it's really cool inside. They got a big, beautiful sign like you just saw. Um, so let's go in and hit the session. All right, we're in a team of three. I've got Alex is kicking off. We've got Mel and myself, um, but it's individual workout. We've just got a team of three to uh, cycle through the equipment. So the goal is 50 thrusters, and we've got four minute rounds. At the beginning, beginning of the four minute round, we do a 400 meter row. I'll check that number. Maybe it's 500 for me, um, because they've got a few performance and different levels of uh, workouts. Row, 12 bar facing burpees, max thrusters in the remainder of the four minutes. So the goal is 50 thrusters. Um, so we'll probably take a couple of rounds of this to get it done.
that workout was pretty damn rough. Alex, who you're going to meet in a second, um, he, he wrote that for the Saturday class as a bit of a modification from a Torian Pro workout a couple of years ago. Um, really, really tough. I'm pretty humbled actually, actually how, how much the quads hurt and how much he didn't want to pick up that bar and keep doing the thrusters. But first impression of that gym of Western Front when you walk in, it looks exactly like what probably the perfect CrossFit gym would think look like if you if you close your eyes and imagine. Uh, great big space warehouse style building but awesomely tidy they've got plywood paneling on the walls they get an awesome little rig actually awesome massive rig um built-in showers built-in toilets everything's sort of got that sort of plywood feeling um plenty of space for everything we're going to sit down as well with alex and kate the owners get to know them um they've been here forever it feels like um yeah western front pretty smick looking gym Well, we've just had a bit of a look around. We're gonna go out with Alex and Kate uh, to a local cafe, have a bit of a chat and sit down with them. It's really cool when we get to sort of get to know the owners and get to know people from the gyms really a little bit better. Um, but my first impression, we, uh, we walked in, you saw the sign at the front of the gym. It's pretty bloody impressive, like it's really eye-catching for the general public. So that's a huge bonus, but we drove in the car park. Half the cars have got CrossFit Western Front stickers. Um, Probably three quarters of that morning class had CrossFit Western Front t-shirts on and the ones that didn't had other CrossFit shirts on. So they've got a massive proud community, which is which is really cool. Um, when the members take pride of, of their gym, you know what the sort of the community and the vibe's like. Um, and it all seems really positive. We walked in, people were shaking my hand. Um, people were following me on Instagram already that didn't even know me. So that's really cool. So we're gonna go down to Seed Cafe, have a bit of coffee, have a bit of something um, and chat to Alex. What's your dog's name? Franny. <laughs> we've just come up to Queen's Park in Ipswich. Um, we've been chatting for the last three hours already, so it feels like we're, <laughs> yeah, yeah. we've sort of known each other forever. But we're just going to have a bit of chat, a bit of a chat about Alex. Um, Kate had to run off already, but there's your story and the story of CrossFit Western Front. Yeah, so we'll start at the start. This is Alex Rathke. Yep. Yeah. He's um, friends as well. He's more than been doing CrossFit since about 2011. Yeah. Uh, helped open a gym back then and then decided to start or move into one of your own or tell us about your story and a long story short, yes. I guess. Yeah, long story short. So I was a personal trainer at uh, Good Life. Um, it was at 2010s and started CrossFit there following dot-com programming um, with uh, another one of the affiliate owners in Ipswich, um, Alex from Wiser. And uh, yeah, we, we did it on lunchtime. So we, we just smashed out yep. dot com workout every day, and yep. he's like, "You, you want to try this CrossFit thing? Like, we'll, we'll have a go at it." And so, yeah, we did it, and um, then uh, 2011s came, and um, I gave him a hand setting up Wiser, um, and then from there we moved on from Wiser and came over to Western Front because um, I met Kate at Wiser. Yep. And uh, she had been trained by Brandon before from the um, Open Western Front a few months prior to um, Alex opening Wiser. Yeah. Um, we trained at home for not not very long, um, and then Kate's like, "I want to go to a box, so we yep. go to Western Front." And I went, "Yep, yeah, whatever you want to do." So I started like, started CrossFit training at Wiser One. Decided to, to join up at Western Front, and then how did you get into affiliate ownership? Because it mustn't have been too long after that. No, not not too. I got a couple of years, so couple of years. I, I was coaching um, at Western Front, especially that like Brandon had his goal of um, making it to the games and did. Um, yeah. Got 12, 13, and, and fourteen. So I just sort of like, took a, a bit of coaching so he could um, focus yeah. on his training and and whatnot. And then Kate started working there as well, doing some of the admin stuff because he just as an athlete didn't have much time. So sure. yeah. Um, yeah, so. We did some of that stuff and um, moved a couple times, and then when we moved over to the the place we're in now, uh, it was just too big and 
Um, Brandon didn't, it just wasn't in his in his goals to be full time business yep. um, owner, so we jumped in with him. Yep. Um, and then it was it was like too much, just too much work for for his goals. Um, yeah, because he's he's still doing the athlete thing. Yeah. to this day. Still, yeah, so. that's it. and we we were in contact um, every now and then. Um, yeah. So yeah, he's uh, he was like it's you know it's not working for me, so he moved on, and then we took it full time. Um, or just Kate and I, so, um, yeah, but when we moved to that new facility, it was the three of us, and then we, um, we took it over yep. not long after that, so. So Wiser One has been, uh, sorry, he was at Wiser One, but Western Front yep. has been around since 2011, yeah, and, and when did you guys actually step in as owners? Owners, uh, that was May 2014. So, wow, we're still going on seven years now. Seven years, And the yeah. affiliate, we're going to celebrate a 10-year affiliate this year. 10-year affiliate this year, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, cool. That's so cool. Um, most Queenslanders and Australians will know about the 2011 flood. So, the original Western Front yep. got flooded up to the Warball target. Uh, in 2012, January in 2012. 2012, yep. And um, then, yeah, so then we moved up the street. Moved up the hill a little bit. Got kicked out about six months later. Yep. Oh, I must have been, we must have been in there for a little bit because we got kicked out. Um, we're in there for a little bit. Just We moved just before Regionals 2014. Yeah. Because we, we had team, we did team in 2013-14. And yeah, we got kicked out. So we had to do like our last bit of training while we're setting up the new gym. Yeah. So the, the other businesses didn't like loud rap music and metal and <laughs> dropping barbells and there things was, like that. There was a, a residential property okay. in the middle of an industrial estate. <laughs> Yeah, good idea. And she didn't like the music and the banging of the barbells at five o'clock in the morning, so yeah, you know, it happens. Um, so we got kicked out, and we didn't have very good parking in that spot either. So yeah. probably a blessing, blessing in disguise. So I know, I know you didn't start Western Front. Yep. Um, but I, there would have to be a story behind like what Western Front means, surely. Yeah. Is so, it is it the western side of it, Brisbane or something like that? Or yeah, um, so one of our, our friends, Joe Rewadi, who used to own Urban, yeah, uh, CrossFit yep. Urban Energy, yeah, yeah. So he, um, we were, we were great, great friends with him, and they started Urban in 2011 as well. Um, him and his uh, business Jamie. partner, Jamie, I think, um, Shane, yeah, Shane, um, and so, yeah, the story. They moved on together, but. Um, yeah, so Joe was trying, was helping um, Brandon choose a name, and um, just happened to come up, and he's like, "Oh, you guys are like, you know, like Western Queensland." Yeah. He's like, you know, like war stuff, war on like a, a well, there's surely there's like a war on the rest in front, um, yeah. and it just sort of came up with the name. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's Western cool. front, and uh, it's uh, we actually did a in a house comp, and we've done a comp before. Uh, and we call it the war in the Western Front. Which yeah, kind of sounds pretty cool. Yeah, it sounds pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, the first, my first impression when we turned up was this. I've already said it on camera, but the big sign out front is bloody cool. That's really cool. Yeah, that's um, you walk, you drive into the uh, car park, and there's cars with Western Front all over the back windscreens. We walked into the class, and we were one of the first ones there. But once the class filled up, probably three quarters, if not more, people had Western Front T-shirts on. So it's so impressive to see a community that is so invested in in the gym and, and, the, and the community atmosphere. Um, so that could be kudos, kudos to you guys for, for establishing that. Um, yeah. Like what sort of, how many classes do you run a day? How many coaches do you have it's currently? Good. And that, all that sort of stuff. Like how does your gym run at the moment? So we got six classes a day, five days a week. Yep. And we do open gym times. Uh, and two classes on a Saturday morning. Yep. Although this morning we had massive 6.30 class and then nobody for the 8 o'clock. Yeah. Which is, it's been the thing because it's hot at the it's moment. Because it's so damn hot, but yeah, yeah it'll really probably hot. change in winter. It does, yeah, they sort of swap, swap around. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, I mean, we have uh, Kate and I full full time there. Uh, Kate does a nutrition program as well, and she has a couple coaches under her. Um, and then we've got um, Ellen who coached the class this morning. Yep. Um, we've got two part time coaches as well, uh, Dave and Troy. Yep. Um, that that do a few here and there. Which one was that this morning? Uh, so tr they're both there. Both um, there. Okay. Yeah, well, so I must have met one of them. Then. Probably Tro Troy. Troy. Yeah, yeah. Big tall guy. Big tall yeah. guy. Yeah. Um, and then Dave is. Um, Short, about my height with the big white beard. Yeah, oh, yeah. Cool. And the tattoos. And your kids' classes, teens' classes. Yep. Any teens any other kids. sort of specialty groups or anything like uh, that? Not anymore. No, we just 
Pops decided to stay with the CrossFit, the CrossFit yep. because that's what we do and that's what we're good at. So, yep. um, absolutely. Yeah, we we tried the barbell club and gymnastics stuff, and you know we we do seminars every now and then with, with gymnastics yep. and um, and weightlifting stuff, but not not all the time. Yeah, we just found we just stick with what we're good at. Yeah, um, and trying to diversify too much. And you do all the programming for the gym. I do. Yeah, I mean I really enjoy it. I mean I've been around a while and know a couple things so um <laughs> well this workout this morning's workout was pretty pretty good it was, yeah it's pretty Hard. intense yeah um so yeah uh yeah i do all the programming for the gym um i am reasonably organized with that so mm -hmm. i'm playing quite far in advance and with all the all the things coming up to here like the open and, and stuff yeah. like that so we, we plan for all that sort of stuff yes. um not particularly like cycling um through the year but um Sometimes a little more focused on some weeks and um, yeah. different focuses yeah. in other weeks, um, and then we do like a program, the extras program, and a program the teens and the kids and, yeah. um, and stuff like that. And then we have like a, a online coaching as well that we do to so people that are like not members of the gym that yeah. that want to do programming yeah. and um, extras programming for our current clients and yeah. personal training and stuff like that. So yeah, a few things going on. Well, I don't. I haven't had a bad experience yet going to a CrossFit gym, but I have to say I'm pretty impressed with what I've seen this morning. The community, the the level of coaching, even to the point where you set up the workouts with a bit of a flow with the machines and equipment and stuff. Just really, really top job. So I appreciate you having Mel and I down. Mel's standing right there behind the camera. Um, really appreciate you having us down, especially at such, such short notice, because um, we only hit you up yesterday. Yes, but you were keen, and, and your members were really keen and excited to have us, so yeah. appreciate it. No worries. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Cheers. You guys, no, don't stop. Um, you guys, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if you want to do me a huge favor, hit the subscribe button and the little bell to be notified when the new videos come out. Um, this one should be out in under a week, hopefully. Um, that's the easiest thing you can do. It's not going to cost you anything to help me out and build this channel. I'll put links down in the, in the description for CrossFit Western Front if you want to get in contact there, if you're in the area and need, to, need somewhere to train. Um, I'll put links there for uh, Western Front for my stuff. Um, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the gym. Peace out. Hey, no, no, no.